Peter doesn't crash. Okay, so if you've seen any of the emails coming out from the brand this week, you may have heard of something called CB Desk. CB Desk is in the in its most pure form the new replacement for CB Exchange. As of Tuesday, CB Exchange you can still log into it, which you can see here, but it will no longer be updated. It will be available for basically the rest of 2020. They're going to retire it uh, at the end of the year or in early 2021. The new place to go is CB Desk. The link to log in is mycbdesk.com. mycbdesk.com. We've already updated Schmidt Resources in the Technology Square for all four regions with CB Desk. We've removed CB Exchange and we've added CB Desk. So if you go to Schmidt Resources, you'll see it there. Um, I'm going to sign out quick here just to show you guys some stuff. So. Um, so mycbdesk.com. The other great thing is that your logins from CB Exchange are the exact same logins um, for the new CB Desk. In fact, when I first tried to log in earlier this week for the first time, mycbdesk.com, it already pulled over. Uh, hopefully, it's going to bring me. Oh, it's signing me in automatically. It had already pulled over my username and password because it had saved in my computer. So I didn't even have to try to retype it in or anything. It automatically signed me in. Um, so let me see if I can get it up in a in a incognito browser what the login looks like. The the login screen looks just like it did for CB Exchange. And like I said, it's the exact same username and password you have right now. Uh, Carrie, am I correct that you've already updated this in Moxie as well for the single sign-on? Or are you still? Yeah. Okay, perfect. No, it's ready to go. Both the homepage, which we consider our hub, and the external links, which they can find in that upper right corner, um, are updated. If the agent clicks on it, they'll be automatically signed in. They won't even have to know their username and password. If they're having issues and they come to you as their ASC or RSC, just jump into Moxie, check their account, the internal agent ID spot, is where they're gonna to have to have their coldwellbanker.com login information. If, if you don't know what it is and you're concerned it might not be first name dot last name, just jump into Dash real quick and check it out. And then you can copy and paste that over to Moxie and then the single sign on will work for them. Perfect, see, thank you guys so much. We're doing everything we can to make this seamless. Um, and Carrie put a lot of work into that. So thank you, Carrie. Um, you'll see it, like she said, right here on the hub, CB desk login. And then I believe you set up here in the um, external links category as well. It's it is connected. <clears throat> it, if it's working right, it's connected that you can log in automatically. So uh, let's just give a little tour of CB Desk real quick. Um, I I spent some time in here, and on the whole, it's not that complicated, which is great. It really does look and operate a lot like CB Exchange used to. Um, things are just cleaned up a little bit. And there will, uh, as time goes on, they will be adding more uh, to this to this platform. So this is the homepage, guys. Again, it looks very similar to CB Exchange. Um, one thing that they have that they have touted for a while now is that the search function on Desk works a lot better than the search function on CB Exchange. If you have experience with that, you'll know that that is a very good thing. Um, but other than that, we've got the icons. These are the same tools from CB Exchange. So you've got your um, Brand serve, you've got Zap, Social Ad Engine. Now, for me, the order of these sort of pulled over from CB Exchange. Now, I don't know if that was just coincidence or not, um, but the order that I have my icons here is very similar to how I had them set up in CB Exchange. But just like CB Exchange, if you want to rearrange these, all you have to do is find the one you're looking for and then just click uh, in the corner here. You'll see the little arrow icon and drag it over. It's as simple as that. I want Social Ad Engine to be first. I'm gonna click and drag. So just like that, you can um, add these icons to your homepage. You can also remove them if you don't want to. So maybe, for example, you go, you know what, I don't really need, um, the, uh, just to pick a random one, you know, I, I don't really use the old email program anymore. I'm just gonna click the X up here. That's gonna remove the app from your home screen. It doesn't delete the app or anything, obviously. You can still click Add App, and you can see all of the ones here that are uh, removed. So you can just choose one of those and re-add them. But again, this is meant to be cleaned up for you and for you to use uh, as an admin, as a, as a staff member, or as an agent the way that you want to use it. So on the left-hand side here, we have some more tabs. We're just going to kind of go through these. The second one here is CB Brand. This is all the news from the brand. Any sort of announcements, any sort of um, uh, 
I guess you could say, I was thinking of video announcements, the, the things that Ryan Gorman's been doing, the sort of virtual town halls. Um, you got the link to the Coldwell Banker store right here. It's not as great as the Schmidt Resources store, if I'm being honest, but you know, that's, that's just more of an opinion thing. And then you've got the news section right down here. So, uh, Carrie, this is one thing that I've been confused on, but it, it sounds like this news section is A, where you're going to, it's called CB Briefs. This is where you can find news, but it will still be emailed out weekly. Is that right, do you, Carrie, or is it only going to be held here now? Um, that's the only thing that I've been a little bit confused on is they keep saying briefs is where all your news is, but it does sound like it, you know, the important announcements will still be emailed out. So this is meant for us to be able to, again, to come in and look at the news, see what's going on. Um, from, you know, again, right here, there's a virtual education expo on the third, how to create a digital marketing strategy could be perfect for our agents. Um, so you can, you can browse the sort of news here. They do of course have some COVID information. Um, including about the CARES Act and the content for COVID uh, right here on the page. So the, well, I was just going to add a, bring up a blog post. We don't have time for that. So the CB brand on the left over here is where you're going to find news from the brand. Marketing, you're going to find marketing stuff. Now, again, they have reimagined a lot of this stuff. So you're going to want to get in and, you know, just kind of know where things are. Things like brand serve and social ad engine, well, those are, of course, still on the home page. You'll still be able to access those through the icons like we currently do. Um, but as you go down, you see, you'll see there are a lot of other categories here. The award winners for 2019, um, information on branding resources. And again, they've tried to clean it up a little bit. Instead of these weird long pages on CV Exchange, you've got the uh, title, you've got the, the day that it was updated so you know how recent this information is, and you can um, say, you know, say, oh, and that's the other thing I want to show you is how to favorite something. So in the upper right corner up here, you'll see a little heart it says favorites. If there's something in particular within, you know, as you keep diving into CB Desk that you go, I want to have easier access to it. Maybe it's this, you know, I don't know, just for example, it's the um, 2019 marketing year in review. This is a PDF, PDF that you love, that you want to have saved, that you can access whenever you want. What you can do, is you can click this little heart right here. And you'll see it says favorite added. You got a little alert up here in the upper right corner. So I can click on my favorites here and I can see now I've got one favorite. And I can click manage them. I can uh, rename them if I wanted to. I can just say um, 2019 marketing info, just so it's easier for me. And I can save that there. Uh, if you want to, you can also add outside sources. So maybe you want to have a, an easy link to the Coldwell Banker blog. You can simply type in blog.coldwellbanker.com and just call it, you know, you can literally call it here. Uh, see, it pulls in a title for you automatically, but I'm just going to call this CB blog. And I'm going to add that favorite. So now, next time I'm, I'm navigating around, maybe I'm in the social media section and I'm looking at the networks and I go, oh shoot, I forgot, I should post something from the Coldwell Baker blog. I can go up to my favorites. I can have the link for the blog right there and it will open in another link for me to uh, take a look at that content. So again, the favorites, you know, a lot of this stuff, um, and I say this with a lot of our tools because it's true, but a lot of this stuff is meant for you to leverage the way that works best for you. So the favorites section is useless unless you put your favorites in there. The order of the icons is pointless unless you rearrange them for the way that you need them to be used. So um, use these tools the way that you need to use them and, and re, you know, organize things the way that works best for you. They've got some stuff here under my business. They have stuff for forms, but they also have education. All of the um, virtual expos, the product, um, this, they, they call it this month a product, the um, webinars that they do every month, the CE shop where you and your agents can uh, get Con Ed. This is where I do my Con Ed. It's, there's always a 20% discount from Coldwell Banker for using CBU 20 and nine times out of 10, uh, maybe four times out of five, I don't want to exaggerate here. They oftentimes, here it is right here, they have additional promos right on the page. Save 30% by using August 30. Uh, I, I truly, truly love CE Marketplace. Uh, yep, Carrie's saying Hondros also gives discounts too. So if, you, if you're familiar with Hondros and you prefer using that, they also have discounts that, that we can use to... Um, to take care of this stuff. And it's all really easy. It's all online. So, um, you know, take a look at that stuff there. Last thing I want to show as we hit the 15 minute mark 
is the business advantage section. This is one of those things that we that is offered by being a part of the Coldwell Banker network that is basically just discounts or pro, or you know uh, yeah discounts with a bunch of companies uh, across the country. AT and T, Budget Car Rentals, um, Verizon, all of these you know the C Marketplace of course, Tiffany and Co discount, UPS. All of these things are here for you as an agent, as a manager, as a staff member to take advantage of. Uh, it used to be buried in CB Exchange and was difficult to find the business advantage. Now it's literally right here on the left hand side. Uh, I, I mean, again, you can save, I think Verizon is like 18% on your monthly bill. I think AT&T is close to that as well. There's no reason not to do it. It takes a couple steps to sign up and then you're getting a monthly discount purely by being associated with uh, with the brand. So, so that's it guys, as we hit that 15 minute mark, please write in any questions that you may have. Um, but essentially again, CB Desk is the new CB Exchange. It operates very similarly. All of the tools and content from CB Exchange is in CB Desk. They've done a very good job of moving everything over. And if you find something in, is missing, maybe there are some PDFs or some articles or things that you used to refer to um, within CB Exchange that you can't find. If you look down here at the bottom of CB Desk, they've got the chat over here on the right. And on the left, they've got a phone number and a request help button. And they've made it very clear in regards to CB Desk that they want feedback. The brand, I mean, every webinar I've been on for this tool, the brand has constantly reinforced, send feedback, ask us questions, ask where things are because um, they want to make it better. Uh, Stephanie said, can you add dot loop as a favorite? Absolutely you can, absolutely. It's not going to be, I don't believe it's going to be native within CB Desk, but you would just go to favorites up here, click add new favorite, and then you would put in the URL and you would literally just name it dot loop or whatever worked best for you. You could totally add that as a favorite. Again, whatever works best for your workflow. And if that helps, knock yourself out um, figuratively. JD, can I point out two things? Please. Please do. Uh, thank you. First of all, we did get notification that uh, Desk will not be supported on Internet Explorer. Mm, mm -hmm. So if you are still using Internet Explorer, first of all, please don't. <laughs> please use Google Chrome as much as possible. Uh, but if, if you're having issues with CB Desk or if your agent's having issues with CB Desk, uh, first ask them what browser they're using. And then the second point I wanted to point out is, and maybe JD, you can hover over it, that list hub link right there. Please don't use that link. That that links you to the Cobalt Banker version of List Hub and not the Schmidt Premium List Hub that the Schmidts provide to the agents. It's very confusing. I thought that they were not going to migrate that over to Desk because they do have List Sync and List Track, uh, but it is still residing there. So go ahead and just, like JD just did, click that X, get it off your platform. If you hear of an agent that says, I logged in through CB Desk to List Hub and I don't, I'm not able to send seller reports, that's why, that's not our premium account. So sorry about that confusion, exit out, then you won't have to worry about it. Encourage your agents to just get rid of it. Absolutely. And that's all, all I had. Thank you, Carrie, thank you so much. Yes, I. the one notification I have right now is that Internet Explorer will no longer be supported. So as of September 1st. So they've got a few more days to say their goodbyes and then they can move, um, move into 2020. Um, yeah, and then Ann also asked too, by the way, another question came in, can you add listings to leads to favorites? And the answer again is absolutely. You can add anything here to your favorites. If I really wanted to, I could add manchesterunited.com and just be like, oops, I guess I gotta make sure I check that every day if I want to. You can add Schmidt resources here, you can add the marketplace, whatever you want. Now keep in mind that it affects your account. It's not gonna you know, be a, an office setting where it's there for everybody. But again, you can add anything you want to your favorites that is going to make your life easier. Um, so that's going to be it, guys. Get, get in there and, and take a look. It really, uh, it's again, it's one of those things that you can't break. It's one of those things where um, all of the tools are right here, and they do have plans to make a lot of these tools that are here better as time goes on. Um, the one that I'm looking forward to the most is e-marketing. They've said that over the next couple of quarters, hopefully they're going to um, kind of just give it a, a, a facelift. It's a, it's a great program, but it's very outdated, and they're going to bring it up to speed. So.